good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. We are a Disney loving family and we are currently in Walt <laughs> We are currently in Walt Disney World. Florida, we are staying in the Animal Kingdom Lodge Hotel. It is a beautiful. It's been very hot. We've already done some vlogs on Travel Day, Magic Kingdom. We've done Hollywood Studios. And we've done... One more. Magic Kingdom, of course. And today we are taking you along for a lovely evening at Epcot. And I am dressed a bit fancy because Stephen, who's my husband, and I are spending, uh, celebrating 20 years since we met in Risa on Broad Street. Bank holiday weekends, classiest venue if you're from Birmingham, you know. So we're going to go to Epcot and we're going to do some eating around the world. That's the plan. Yeah. I'll show you how we get there. Stephen is thinking Hollywood Studios and then bo a boat. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> or the gondola. Because we want to go to the boardwalk, don't we? Mm. Or Hollywood Studios and then the gondolas. Yeah, try Can you get to Epcot from Hollywood Studios or do you have to swap? You have to swap. <laughs> It's tough, isn't it? Because if you go to Epcot at the beginning, we've just got to... Anyway, we'll take you. You'll see. We don't know. I'm wearing pink. He's wearing pink. Wave. She's in a nice white top and he's in... He's got no shoes on. You're supposed to have shoes on. Just... Right, okay. We're going to go. Come along with us. We're going to rate some food. Um, maybe see some fireworks and have a nice old time. I won't look this nice again for the rest of the video. So enjoy it now. Because it's just going to go downhill from here on in. My hair's going to get fuzzy. My top lip's going to get sweaty. Let's go. Uh, we are walking to get the bus. As I said, we're at Animal Kingdom Lodge. There are, there's an ice cooler here. <laughs> the drinks machine. But more importantly, here, zebras. There's zebras out and about. How exciting. Right. What time the bus is? 6.30. Oh, that's ages away. We're going to Epcot though. Oh, they're all ages away. We didn't plan this very well, did we? Let's go down now. Let's go down. They're all ages away. Oh dear. Oh no, we didn't plan that very well, did we? <laughs> don't be like Emma and Stephen. Oh my gosh, I think I've got a bit of a tan or I've put too much bronzer on. I don't know. Don't be like Emma and Stephen. Don't be like Emma and Stephen. Check times of the buses. We found the buses a bit poops, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Bus has been a bit poop. The bus was real poop. This. When, when, hang on. When, when was it? A bus never came. This morning. This morning the bus never came. Um, so if you are staying at a hotel that is just, I'm going to use the word facilitated. Just facilitated no, no. by buses. Um, check the times, you can check them on the phone. This morning, the one to uh, uh, uh. Do you know what? If you're thinking you're gonna get a bus at half past six to get morning or night, get there off, get there 15 minutes early because we just keep seeing to missing them. And I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I think that um, when we next come, I like staying on the uh, hotel that has the gondolas, they're amazing, and hotels with the boats. That gives you another option, doesn't it? The hotels with the buses, you kind of just really at the will as if, if they come or not. Sometimes we've been there and they've been there, but this morning was a little bit of a, a bit of a, I'm going to say a little bit of a bum hole to get to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios, we are finding, is the trickiest one to get on the, all the rides we want to get on. So if you are ever going to do a Genie Plus day, I would save it for Hollywood Studios. It just seems to be impossible to get on um, Stinky Dog Dash. We just can't get on it, can we? Mm -hmm. Got there this morning, it was closed down, so. I thought that was rain then. But you know what? We're going to make the most of it. We're gonna get there, we're gonna have a pretty sparkly picture in one of the pretty sparkly Epcot ball, and we're gonna watch some fireworks. That's what we're gonna do. And if, well, I mean, we haven't eaten yet, so hopefully we'll eat something. What are you looking for, a reservation? Yeah. <laughs> Just anywhere. That's mad, isn't it? The Crystal Palace. So, it, well, not that we're gonna go there. So if you um, haven't booked your food reservations, there's one at the Crystal Palace at quarter past seven. That is a character diner meal, that is. In fact, there's loads and Topolinos. There's loads of um, there's loads of reservations, isn't there? So, 
Where is the bus? Please come bus. We finally made it on the bus. Very bad planning tonight. Here we go guys, we have made it to Epcot and look at the beautiful skies. <laughs> to be honest, it's good because it's cool. Well, it's not cool, but it's cooler. Uh, it's a food and wine festival. Lots of people are leaving, which is good for us. And I actually met a follower, hello if it was you. A lovely lady from Scotland who now lives in Orlando and she said, if you go late at night, they give you bigger portions. I don't know if that's true, but you know what? I'm gonna choose to believe her. You're gonna choose to believe her. Stephen lost his magic band, doesn't he? So he's now trying to get in using a ticket and I don't know what's going on. Where's he gone? Where are they gone? Oh, he's there. Yeah, um, somebody lost somebody's magic band. We don't know what's going on, but it's annoying because we've had these magic bands for so long. Not me. Not me either, I was in the room. So we don't know what happened. One of them two. Wasn't us, we're exempt from the blame, the blame game. But it's sheer beauty. She's not quite so beautiful. No, she is. So she's not quite so beautiful in the grey skies. <laughs> but she's still. How beautiful to behold. She is beautiful. She is grace. I have sweat running down my face. I don't know why, but I always find this particular scene in Spaceship Earth like something from a horror film. This little girl here. I feel like one day she's going to turn around and do a weird scream like from the grudge or something. However, this lady's mustard tights and boots, autumn goals, lover. Yeah, man. I like this bit. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it, guys? It's very good. Right, what we do, what we're gonna look like, 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 where are we? We, hey, he looks good. Oh no, I'm a mutant. Yours is all right. <laughs> oh, you look so happy in your little outfit. And then where, where am I? Oh, look at you. Oh, and the kids look great. <laughs> you look so happy. Oh, Stephen, where's mine? Oh, no. <laughs> we are now walking around to the World Showcase. You see my perimenopause brain then just paused. Sometimes things pause then they have to kick start again. But anybody got any intel? When all this stuff's gonna stop? It feels that this all this stuff has been going on ever since we've ever come. But you think, well just yeah, hoarding. That's not the right word. Awning? Hoarding. Hoarding. Hoarding? That's not the right, boarding. Anyway, whatever. It feels like it's been going on forever. So, um, any intel, let me know what's going on. Oh, it's the Moana thing, isn't it? I did, yeah, there's like a Moana. I did see a TikTok. Um, they did some cast previews, which by the time you watch this, maybe it'll be open, or I don't know. And there's like a Moana walkthrough thing. Um, but right, let's go and get some food. Yeah, like a walkthrough Moana experience with all like water and looks fun. We have come to the Shimmering City. She's got guava cake. I want the mimosa flight, which is just like little tiny mimosas for our anniversary. So as you walk around, um, they have different countries, different places, and it will have like a menu, beverages, puddings. So he's just going to get all that. Also, even, you know, I definitely do look 19, but um, make sure you have your ID, even if you're 45 because you'll need it. They ID everybody here, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm amazing. Why are you excited? So we have gone for the mimosa flight, which is a tropical mimosa, a berry mimosa, and a blood orange mimosa. Um, so it was $14 for the three. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with Steven before we go on to get some more food. What do we think, G? They're nice, this one's nice. They're nice. Okay, I'm gonna try this one now. Blood orange. 
one. I prefer that one. Try that one. I'm gonna try this one. You feel me like a classy lady. Cheers. I forgot this down my dress. Would you imagine? Like it. Tastes like um cold mulled wine. No. Cheers. We've got lamb chop from Australia and then we've got cheese soup and a pretzel a bun. Pretzel stick. <laughs> pretzel stick from Canada. Canada. So uh, let's, let's have a little try. Erin thoughts. We like that. The really highly good. recommend this soup is so nice. Was yours nice? Ethan, do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> Delicious! I love it! So there's all sorts of music playing. NSYNC were here the other day and I bloody missed it. Right. Stephen's on the food, food hunt. We're off to Ireland, obviously. Where else would we go in? I'm with Stephen! Duh! We have come to France. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Emma. J'habite Birmingham. That's the only French I know. And also, you can't even tell it's French. You just see trees. Where's the Eiffel Tower gone? Where have you gone, you bugger? Where's that? <laughs> Where's it gone? Do you know what? Here's a real funny story. I don't know. Funny story. It's a story. It's, I don't know if it's funny. Um, Stephen and I went to. Um, we went to Paris, went to Disneyland Paris actually, it was one of our first trips and we went to visit the Eiffel Tower and we got out of the tube and, or the underground, I can't remember what it's called, and we were like, can't, we got off the wrong, where is it, where is it? And then we just turned and it was just literally directly behind us and we'd been like, where is it, can't find it, we got off the wrong station. <laughs> Can you tell it's a bit warm again? The hair, when you see the hair swoop back like this, I am when Stephen gets back, I will find you. The Eiffel Tower. Where are I? Oh, he's coming, he's coming, I can find it. Oh my gosh, he's, <laughs> he's got us a croissant to share between four of us and it looks like what you would feed. I mean, that's not gonna fill us up, is it? <laughs> that's enough for four. That's enough for four. Do you know what? That's enough for four, that'll do. Nicely. Um, we've gone for the cheesefield croissant. Um, I've gone for a what is it rose oh, that's drink? A oh, sorry, a beignet. Um, I'm just going to show the people. Do you want to cut that in for? I'm just going to go show them the Eiffel Tower. I couldn't find it. If you want to get the gondolas, you get it from here. Um, you can also walk around to the boardwalk, which we were planning on doing, but obviously something went wrong with the timings. Oh my gosh, where the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, where is it? Come on, come on. There's going to be a grand reveal and you're all going to gasp and cry. <gasps> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. There it is. <laughs> you can't even... I don't think you hang on. There's a... There. It's there. It's not... That wasn't as quite as dramatic as I thought it was going to be, but it's there. <laughs> um, it's very pretty around here. Ratatouille's over there. Uh, so if you are staying at one of the resorts and the gondolas you can get really easy early access to Ratatouille where there's a Wii, we're right at the other end of the park. But yeah, it's nice, it's very nice um, vibes. Right, should we go and try this beignet? I think Ethan wants a cake. Oh, they look so sweet just having a little chat. And there's a little, and Beauty and the Beast is playing. So this three cheese beignet, thoughts, discuss. Five. An Adam Hatton score out of five. Four. Four. It's nice. How much was it, six dollars? Yeah. It's very cheesy. I, don't, I think I actually, I was laugh, I was joking about the size, but I think a full one's quite sickly. You didn't have it, did you? I think we're going to have to find him some chips. Mum's out there, you know what I'm saying. The beige food. <laughs> uh, then again, you couldn't get more beige than this, actually, I don't think. So Stephen has found... 
If you're coming to Epcot, this is not a food and wine thing, is it? This is just a thing. Yeah. This whole baguette with butter was under four euros. Four euros? What am I talking about? Dollars. So if you want to come, and you want to grab yourself a little big baguette in Paris. There you go. This is what we're, this is what we're having. No, do you not know want any butter? No butter on it. No butter on it. No, he's just like, I'm just going to tear into a bit of beige bread. Lovely. I think we need to eat this and then we need to hurry up because we want to get some more food. You want a drink? Is it a bit dry? Well, I'm not surprised. It's a dry baguette. We need to get a drink, don't we? I think from somewhere for them. It's so pretty here. Oh, the lights aren't quite as good on the camera. Bonjour, la photoa. Où est la boulangerie? French viewers, just to let you know, I am uh, bilingual. Um, you are welcome. Uh, Stephen's going to sit and eat a giant baguette whilst me and the kids are going to walk on because I feel like Ethan needs a pudding before his head just drops off his body. Oh, look, the ball is all lit up. How beautiful, what a view. This is where the fireworks are going to be taking place in about 40 minutes, so we better hurry up and get Isn't that pretty? It looks so far away. It looks, well it is far away. It's a bit of a long old walk, isn't it? It's a long old schlep. The kiddos have gone to get some shaved ice. And there's a band playing, I don't know who it is. As I said, NSYNC were here the other day. Could you imagine if I'd have been here? It's a good job I wasn't here. We'd have been in trouble because I'd have been up on the stage during a full dance routine. Um, but yeah, in festivals they often have bands. We've seen Save a life, and last year we saw we built this city. Oh, have you got it? We've both got a tent. Ooh, let's have a look. Tangerine frozen ice. How cool, guys! This will be nice, won't Hello. it? Is this here all the time? Is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Try it. Mm. Nice. Oh, I think Daddy was phoning. Do you want to phone him back? Maybe he's finished with his baguette. There is nowhere with just such a better atmosphere than Epcot. Bit of live music playing. Do we know it? No, we don't. Philip Phillips. You've got a lovely voice. Everybody screamed when this song came on. And it sounds like it could be Irish. Woo, she's dancing. I like it. Do I know it? I don't think I know it. But it's a good one. Oh, everyone feel, everyone's so happy. Excuse the jazzy music. <laughs> That's, I don't think it's German music, but we're in Germany. We've got apple strudel. Oh, the Dela. De this sounds a bit more German. Apple strudel and vanilla sauce. And a. But I'm it Sounds a bit cabaret. Willkommen and bienvenue. And a potato gratin, I think. Uh, these are what we saw on, I think, Page and Mr. Morrow. We were like, we want these. This what we're having. And these are the last two things. Go on, let's taste test. You ready, Ethan? With the dramatic music, you need to do it dramatically. No pressure, just do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thoughts? They can't get any of it, I don't think. They're just mashing it up. Ethan. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, a little bit of <laughs> dramatic mood. It's like vanilla sauce. Ooh, nice. Talking of horror films, I don't know if you can see all the millions. That's an exaggeration. That's an exaggeration. No, it's not. There's billions. Oh, sorry. Erin says I wasn't exaggerating. I was underestimating. There's billions of birds. Just on the tree, waiting to pounce and eat your potato gratin. There's loads. The kids, you know how kids just remember weird things? They remember that these are the trees with the birds. Right, we're now rushing to try and find a spot for the fireworks, so we're near the exit. Because you don't want to be get stuck in a lot of crowd. If you want to get a little bit of air con, so we're hopping into the... Uh, you want munchkin? Hello. 
<laughs> we popped into the Mexican pavilion and we're gonna go in the three carabineros. We've got 15 minutes of the fireworks. Cool down a bit. This is usually, a... actually this ride is always quite quiet, isn't it? To be fair, and it's a cracking ride. It's much misunderstood. Walk on. <laughs> Just means you get like a 10 minutes of time. <laughs> This holiday is so much different from the um, Easter holiday. I'll chat about that a bit later, I think. Uh, how you have to kind of adapt with the heat. Right, better go. We've got the boat to ourselves. Never have experienced such a thing. <laughs> what did you say? We, we every, every time we've been here for five times we've been here Stephen we always say what do we always say Steve? wish we'd eat in that restaurant <laughs> every time we never do there we go oh I'm relaxed for a little bit right these people look like I always think this looks like the best party in the history of the world these women here I want to be in their party look they a little kiss oh no 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 don't you kiss me, come and kiss me boys. Oh no, 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 I love them. They're my favourites, they're so pretty. Da, 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 da. Oh, go on Ethan. The three cambiaderos. No one else in the boat, don't worry, we're not disturbing anyone. Could you imagine us just banging on like this with people here with us? Somewhere here is a hidden Mickey firework, but I cannot find it. Where? I can't see it. Yeah. No, that's just three fireworks. Cinema. So um, I would say that we don't really have the three cabineros in England. I'm sure somebody will let me. Love a fever. But they're great, I love them, they're my faves. Where's this flipping Mickey, hidden Mickey? I can't see it. That'll haunt me forever now. How annoying. We've sat here, we were gonna go and, when I watch Cheers Ears videos, I'm sure they watched it over there. I might go over there in a bit. See what that's like, Paul's over there. Five minutes to the fireworks, it's not a busy night. Well, I don't think it's a busy night. Oh, yay! Woo! Yay! It's good here! Woo! Oh, I love it. It's good here! Oh, look at them. Oh, they're just Right. Look at them, they're just, oh my god, they're perfect. The children and the fireworks. What a lucky mummy, eh? I'm just sobbing. <laughs> so nice. That was so nice. That was so nice. I haven't got loads of videos and I'm just crying. It was just so beautiful. I think that was a real, cheers ears, but right, that was a really good place to stand. You're like, there's no, so on the bridge, like, little walk where there's no, there's nobody here and you could just see the whole thing. Right, let's try and get this bus back. Look how pretty. It's all lit up. And everyone's, and we we're all off for the, the great Hunger Games, also known as getting the bus back. <laughs> Should be okay. <laughs> Looking forward to a nice. Okay, <laughs> when I get in, taking this dress off, it's very thick. We had the best fun at Epcot. It was so nice to walk around the world. I forgot to say, also, you can get a little book that you um, can tick off as you eat the foods. And if you eat five, I reckon we ate a few of those cheesy foods. Yeah, I think if you eat five of the cheesy foods, you get a special treat at the end so that's really really fun so we had so much fun we got there about probably just before seven 
it wasn't busy at all was it no. wasn't busy we didn't have to queue for any food when we are filming this it is the last week of august if that helps um if you're planning on booking a time it was fine we didn't go on any rides we only went on the three cabaret cabular cab oh and space you birth and then we just a walk on we didn't try any of the big rides um so we really really loved it definitely add that to your list we've also done the flower and garden festival before which is absolutely beautiful and again has some lovely treats i would love to do i think there's a christmas one isn't there oh, that would be my that would be my absolute dream also i scratched my own forehead this morning so that is what you are seeing there i hope you enjoyed this video please stick around we do tend to go to disney every year so you will definitely see some disney vlogs at some point and of course i also do loads of hauls and weekly vlogs i've got lots of fun halloween stuff coming your way also <clears throat> a little cough <clears throat> The next vlog you'll see will be Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So please do subscribe so you don't miss out on all the fun. We have a really, really good, well, we have a family outfit. <laughs> we haven't, <laughs> I've put all the outfits together. We've not worn them all together as a family. Unsure what it's gonna look like. Hopefully it'll look good, but stay tuned. We are off to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. If you don't know what that is, in August, up until Halloween, Walt Disney World hosts a couple of times a week a Halloween party. It is extra on top of your ticket price, so you do have to pay extra. To book it in the UK, you have to book it over the phone, don't you, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> Which just seems bizarre. Pause the video. Who do you think we are going as? What? Always want to look like a beautiful princess. Okay. All right, Mary Poppins. Yeah, we are going as the cast of Mary Poppins. We have two chimney sweeps, we have Mary Poppins and we have Bert. Let's check him out. Here we go. We have, put your hat on. <laughs> we have, I need to Bert and Ernie. We have Bert and we have Mary Poppins. Da -da 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 -da. We've gone for a Florida version because it's going to be very hot. Yeah. Put your little hat on, your little bowlerette. All right, Mary Poppins. There you go. There you go. I was trying to think of the song. Oh, that's so fucking So we have Mary, we have Bert, and we have Hello, Thomas Shelby from <laughs> Peaky Blinders. I think you look quite handsome in that, Stephen. But I also think you're going to be very hot in that shirt, but that is beside the point. Right. We are going to make our way to Magic Kingdom. Um, we're going to have some photos first because otherwise we're going to be very sweaty by the time we get there. And we will see you. The Magic Kingdom for spooky Halloween fun. Yay! Yeah, just have to to also, just so you know, I'm wearing um, sandals and not because it's it might rain. So uh, we are preparing for wet, so our trainers don't get wet. So we are in sandals. I also have trousers on. That looks like I've got no trousers on. Right. We have arrived and we're currently waiting to get our wristbands. Um, it seems fairly organised. It's looking a little grey, so I reckon there might be a bit of rain, but we're all right, we've got our brollies. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be spending, I'll show you when I'm so excited. If you wanna meet Jack and Sally, it's a 135 minute wait, but the party doesn't start till eight. That's what the thing is, G. And we're here at half four, see? Yeah. So it, you'll be out before the party starts. But look, you go this way, and you go backstage, and I know Stephen's very excited. Wristbands, wave your wristband, Ethan, wave your wristband. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Umbu. How do are you? Are you excited, Bert? Are you ready to get this chocolate? We have like, let's get the bags. Need to get the bags and get this big sweet so no one have a nice picky as well. We went in to meet Mickey. It wasn't Vampire Mickey, it was just normal Mickey. And it said it was a 35 minute wait, it was literally a two minute wait. This queue here is for Jack and Sally, which is currently a 175 minute wait. What's well, 175 minutes in hours? 60, nearly three hours. But if you join at four and the party doesn't start at eight, as I said, you'd have done it. I mean, I wouldn't do it. Would I do it? No. You can meet Jack Skellington in Paris all the time, can't you? Uh, um, when you go, it's not hard to meet Jack Skellington. Um, but we are now looking at the map. Can I just show the map, please? So you get a special map. 
with all sorts of different uh, attractions. There are shows, there are snacks, the Sally Pops, Zombie Fingers. There are trick, in, trick or treating stations, so that will be good. I'll show you the trick or treating bag. It says, let's do this. And the first one we got was an M&M's one. So that was good. So we're just gonna sit here and uh, work out and make a plan. We've come on the people mover. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning. Um, I just Star met Trail. a follower without Transfer my family three, and I just and think I look a don't worry. She's like, what's going on? Uh, we are on the people mover and a lot of the rides are five minutes wait, so we're just going to go on some of the rides. It's about, what time is it, Steve? Five o'clock? Five past five. First up, Progress City. So we're just going to go on all the rides. Erin's a bit hot. Um, and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I think we've gone mad. My loves, the drums, the drama, the drama. Um, oh, we were just about to get on Tomorrowland Speedway, which is all tow if you've been to Disneyland Paris. And I was like, well, I can feel a little bit of rain. So I was like, I don't want to go on this. I'm sat under the cover thing. I was like, I'm not, I'm out. Um, see you at the end. I sat down. So when I'm telling you, it was the poor, <laughs> the three of them were in torrential, the most torrential downpour. And in Florida in August, you need to know sometimes these torrential downpours come out of nowhere. Luckily, just before I left, I gave them their coats. So you're not too wet, are you? And Erin's not too bad, it's her trousers are a bit bad, but Stephen is absolutely drenched, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's absolutely soaked. So we're sat under here, and is it still raining? No. So it's kind of stopped raining, which is good. Um, I've just got them a virtual queue for Tron, because you can do that if you come to the Halloween party. But yeah, that was like a very dramatic half an hour. And I was sat here, and I could just see them going round in the rain. And Ethan's obviously got like a, a not a bowler hat, but a hat on, and he got his hood, and he squeezed it round the hat. So yeah, I'm hoping that was it. That's it for the night, but I don't know. The um, clear sky seems to be coming, don't you think, Erin? <laughs> if I got Erin's face, then she's like that. Your hair looks gorgeous. You look beautiful. Your trousers are a bit wet, but everything else is fine, isn't it? And now I look mad, because Stephen's got nothing on his face. He does not look like a chimney sweep. He just looks like a normal man in a shirt, and I look like a maniac. To be honest, I am. Here we go, there's the castle with the giant pumpkins. Um, it's uh, still a bit drizzly. We're gonna walk over and try and catch the Dapper Dans, I think, when they start, so that'd be really fun. Do you find the Dapper Dans? Oh yeah, you look like a Dapper Dan. Give us a song. Let's walk over to the Dapper Dan. I don't know why I did that voice then. That was, I don't know what's going on. That was a weird voice, Dapper Dans. Well, let's go. We have come over to, what land's this again? Frontierland, yeah. and we've already got what some treats. <gasps> Can you hear it starting? Can you hear it? Haunting hours starting. Horror. Treats! Stephen is literally the most <laughs> excited person I've ever seen in my life. So you go to the treat station with your bag, and they're scooping some. They're scooping some. Um... Oh, it's only ten minutes to go on Big Thunder Mountain. Do you want to do that? And then we could do haunted mansion as well. I'll show you a scoop. Big scoop you get. Oh, yes, it's so good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Love it. You look uh, amazing. Happy, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Are you wow, a double, a double header. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! One scoop. One scoop. We'll share them, don't worry. Um. They are, they are generous with the chocolate. We're going to go and pick them in 10 minutes. It's a walk on pretty much. We're going to do that. So that's very exciting. I'm going to try and do as much as I can before I feel like it's going to rain again. I can hear the kids have a dance. Can you hear them? Oh, we're going to go and see them, my dear. Listen. 
Stephen's left his Stephen's left his uh, suite on the Runaway Mine Train, not Runaway Mine Train, Big Thunder Mountain. I don't know why I always call it the Runaway Mine Train. Big Thunder Mountain left his suites on there. So he's had to get another bag and he's now going back to the treat stop. So we've already been to get more treats. He came up and he's like, I'm just oh, let's go, I've lost all my sweets. So it's not the children you have to worry about these situations, it's actually the six foot two grown 41 year old men. If you go to the, uh, if you're going to look for a treat stop, you look for these little treat signs and you tend to get Skittles, Twix, Starburst, Milky Way, M&M's. If you are, have allergies, they will give you a token and then at the end you can go uh, to a special place where they do like allergy treats, so don't worry, you won't miss out. Here we go. Did you get your sweets? <laughs> Did you get them sorted? Did you get them sorted? Yay! Triumphant! Thomas Shelby is triumphant. Did you get them? Did you sort it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we've only been to like three. Right, let's carry on walking around then. Here we go, look at the haunted mansion. How cool does that look, please? So fun. So it's 15 minutes to come on this. And I, I, no, 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 it's a bit later on. They'll have like people out here talking, won't they, see? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? No. no. <laughs> I said later on they have people out here talking. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We think the people are. Oh, there, oh, there as you're coming in. The ghost toasts as you're coming in. So, as you go around the queue for the Haunted Mansion, there's like little um, puzzles and things, and you can work out who killed who. And Bertie, avid hunter and expert shot, in the end, that's what he got. You have to figure out who killed Yeah, yeah you can work out who killed who. Um, Aunt Florence never did a dishonourable deed, yet found face, face, face down in canary seed. So, it, well, I'm excited to go around and see the um, ghosty people. I've never seen them before, so, and Haunted Mansion is my fave. A Star Wars! Oh! Yeah, I'm afraid not. I love it. I love the Haunted Mansion. I love anything spooky. I don't know if you've gathered. It's what I love. I love it so much. So, I've always wanted to see this. I've, I just love it. I'm going to take a little photo of him. <laughs> Excuse the dramatic music, but in Liberty Square, this is where you can get your allergy free treats. The Muppets used to come out there. I don't know if they still do. I've not seen them for a while. Where are you, Mups? <laughs> uh, Daddy and Erin have got a call back for Trom. So we're gonna go and I don't know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? Oh, Ethan wants to get some more treats, of course. Coming for here for the Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Hughes, you've been coming here for years, I imagine. <laughs> That's I could tell. Right, we are just walking on to Buzz. <laughs> we just went in the laugh room, which was really, really fun, and there's a little boy. You get treats and a little boy told the cutest, longest story. It was really funny, wasn't it? So we're just going to go on to Buzz, which is literally just walk on. It's good, isn't it? We have come over to Tron, which looks pretty cool. Um, this is where Daddy and Erin are going. Ethan, this way, Munchkin. Look, there, there, there. Look, treats there. <laughs> to get some treats. Um, look, how cool is that look? But um, Ethan doesn't like it, so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to... We're gonna leave him. We'll go together. We'll go around and get some treats together. So um, we're hanging out, and Daddy and Erin were very excited because they wanted to go on in the dark, didn't they? Oh, when we get home, should we show them how much chocolate we get? Yeah, I'm gonna get. I got loads. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're gonna sort them all out, and then we're gonna do some swaps, is a thing, yeah. aren't we? But yeah, evidently there's a lot of treats around this way, so we thought we'd come here. But look at that. It's beautiful. Look, wait for it to go around. Wow, that would be cool in the night, in the dark, you know. Right, let's get some droids.
their usual, the Boo To You parade was an absolute bop and a banger and a brilliant. I think my mascara is now just merged into. <laughs> I think it's just merged into the the dirt. The soot. It's not dirt. I'm a chimney sweep. We've come to Cosmic Rays and we've grabbed some chips. It's 10 o'clock. In Cosmic Rays, I think there's some sort of, it's not a Descendants party, is it? It's some sort of, no, no, no. It's all a zombie party. There's some sort of party and the last year, the last time we came here, which was in 2018, I think. This is where you sat a lot for ages with kids, didn't you? It was a Descendants party, everyone was dancing and I think Ethan was just asleep. So we're gonna have a refuel and then make a plan. There are a few character meet and greets. There is Mad Hatter over there. There is Queen of Hearts over there. Oh my gosh. There's also a, uh, the teacups has got like a spooky overlay just there. But I don't think we're gonna meet any of the characters. Let's go to another one. We're not gonna, uh, we're gonna try go on the rides because we've met a lot of these characters anyway. Oh, you okay? So I think we're gonna go on the rides, aren't we? We're gonna go and try and go Seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs. Whoa, look at that. What are we going to do with all this chocolate? Eat it! Oh, 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 look at that guys! Oh my god that's magical! Look at that! No, you move it inside of the... So fun. I've always, always wanted to go on a roller coaster when the fireworks are going. Here is someone, they're still coming! Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good, wasn't it, Ethan? Not only was it walk on seven doors, my train. Oh, hang on, we're going on Winnie the Pooh. We're going on Winnie the Pooh, I don't know what's going on. Right, we're going on Winnie the Pooh. Stephen. Stephen. It is so loud from behind the castle, it is bananas. Stephen's never been on Winnie the Pooh. And Erin said, called yourself a Disney fan, you'd never been on Winnie the Pooh. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're going on Winnie the Pooh. So he can call himself a Disney fan. Um, there's a very cute Winnie the Pooh meet and greet here, which I would like to do if the queue dies down a little bit. Ethan and I just went on the barnstorm three times in a row after we met the Seven Dwarves, and I don't think I've ever seen him happier in his whole entire life. We are now queuing to meet the goof. There is hardly anybody in this queue. Um, I think it's about quarter past 11. Barnstorm, <laughs> that man at the front. He's been on about five times. Barnstorm is a cracking, it's a good gateway roller coaster for little ones. But yeah, the kids are gonna meet the goof and then we're gonna head slowly back and see what else we can do. Maybe see if we can pick up some more chopping. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, my gorgeous friends. I didn't end the vlog at the party last night. I can't remember where I last left you. We met the seven dwarves, we went on the barnstormer. Goofy? Goofy, maybe? I can't remember, but then we left and we got the bus home. We actually walked alongside the parade, didn't we, the second yeah. parade? So things we didn't do, they just get in the sweet set, I'll show you, oh my gosh. Things we didn't do, we didn't watch the um, Sanderson Sisters show. I would have wanted to watch it, but the others weren't so bothered. We also didn't get any special treats. We've been watching a lot of Disney vloggers and the special treats for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We weren't interested in any of them, and a lot of them were a bit, I think, were a bit spicy. So, um, we didn't bother. But that's something you could also do when you're there. We just kind of stuck to eating the sweets out of the bags. So now we're going to do the great... Trade. Trade. So this is from one bag. This is Erin's bag. I'm not sure that is one bag of sweets. And I tell you what, you could have got double that, couldn't you? But yeah. we just went on loads of eyes, didn't I we? Know. So should we have a satisfying 
pour out. I pour out already. Sort my pyjamas out. I've got my uh, next ready guys. In three, two, one. Look <laughs> at that. The <laughs> so these are the chocolates that we got. Well, I got. But you could take a big plastic bag. There's Milky Ways, Twixes, uh, a wrapper. Somebody must have eaten some of my chocolate. Might have been me. Skittles. So we, what we do now is we lay them all out and we're going to trade. That is the plan. And then I will come back to you once we've traded. Um, what an absolute joy. Right, we are actually here during a hurricane warning. I've been getting a lot of worried messages on my Instagram today, which has been really nice. But for us, the parks are still open, aren't they? Not that we're not going to go to the parks today, but I'll show you what it's like. It's just like um, a rainy day in England, but warm. So imagine a warm, rainy schoolroom. That's what it's like, a little bit blustery. People are going to the parks. The buses are still running over there. Everything's fairly normal here, so we're very, very lucky. And this is the second time <laughs> We've been here during a hurricane. What was the last hurricane we were in? I can't remember. I can't remember the names of them. But yeah, at the moment here, you're steaming up, hang on. It's just blustery, rainy, drizzly, grotty British day. People are they're going out there. Um, I have no idea what we're gonna do. At the moment, we're just sorting sweeties. Here we go, we're just going to sort through the sweets. Uh, uh. I am not a huge fan, well I don't drink coffee, so I definitely do not want the caramel cold brew. And I, def and I don't really like peanuts either. But I feel like we all don't like the same. <gasps> don't, you're ruining your bag, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, please, please, unstop, no, stop this madness. Look what he's done to his bag. Please, sh please pass me the bag so I can show the people. I won't show you, don't worry. We've got no top on. What is the point of doing that? You app. Please leave in the comment if you see, think Stephen has lost his mind. This is a beautiful little tote. What are you playing at? Right, time to time to fight over what we're going to eat. Also, when you meet the characters, we got these. What would you call these? Like souvenir, souvenir postcards. postcards yeah. So we've got this from Stitch, not so scary Halloween party. That looked nice in your room, Erin. And this is going to go up in my office. Seven dwarves. It's very cute. We didn't get one for Goofy. But perhaps you get them for like Jack and Sally as well, I imagine. Yeah. So that's nice to keep and take home a little souvenir postcard like there's a lot. Hello, it's editing Emma. I'm back home. We've been back home for a couple of weeks and I've been uploading these vlogs. So hopefully you will have watched one in Magic Kingdom, one in Hollywood Studios, one in Animal Kingdom, and also I have already uploaded the haul from the holiday. I know somebody was asking about that the other day. So go back and check that out. That's already done. And we have come to the end of the Walt Disney World Vlogs 2023. I'm so sad it's over. And just editing this back, today has been just such a joy to watch the kids watching the fireworks to watch us on um seven dwarves mind train with the fireworks and all the fancy dress and just like the happiest memories we had such a wonderful 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 holiday i think you could get the impression from the vlogs as i mentioned it four thousand times it was very warm there and you do need to bear that in mind if you're planning a walt disney world trip easter is much better weather but again as I have said before, it is more expensive. August is a little bit cheaper. The last two weeks of August, we were actually there the last kind of week and a half of August and then going a bit into September. It's a lot quieter, especially towards the end of the holiday. The queue times are really reasonable. We never did Genie Plus once. We never had to do lightning lanes. We just managed to get on all the rides that we wanted to get on with relatively few issues, to be honest. We were fine. We found getting Tron and getting Guardians reservations in the morning at 7 o'clock in the morning absolutely fine as well. We just literally had the iPhone up telling us the time with the seconds. Then we'd just click it. Didn't have any problems with that because I know people worry a little bit about that. If you do have any questions, please do leave them below and I'll be able to answer them. 
Disney plans. We have got some plans. We've also got some ideas. We are considering, and we said this last year and we ended up going back to Walt Disney World, but we are considering Disneyland next year in California and doing a bit of a California trip. So doing Disneyland, also we'd like to go to Universal Studios there and we'd like to go to Warner Brothers Studios where they've got the Gilmore's Girls set. Obviously me and Erin have been watching Gilmore Girls and we just absolutely love it. There is no Universal vlog in this series. I was all ready and set and I was gonna film and it was gonna be brilliant. But the day that we had specifically set aside for Universal Studios, the day before I'd been quite poorly. So I kind of like gathered all my energy <laughs> and went along. So I just wasn't able to film, but we did have a really, really wonderful time at Universal. If you go to my Instagram, there are story highlights and you'll be able to see stories from Walt Disney World and Universal, as well as past trips, Disney Cruises, Disneyland Paris, and if you are still itching to watch some more Disney content, we've got loads of vlogs on the channel. I think we've got vlogs going back to maybe 2016 in Paris, maybe even before, and 2017, I think, from Walt Disney World. We've got loads of vlogs, so do go and check those out. If you are new here, do please stick around. I've got loads of fun content coming up for you. We are gonna be going back to hauls. We're gonna be going back to weekly vlogs. We're gonna be going back to shop with me. We've got Christmas just around the corner. So please do stick around and subscribe. I know a lot of people kind of stumble across these videos um, and then watch them and maybe dip back in. But if, if you could stick around and subscribe, I would love it. Also, I would love to chat with you in the comments. This is the biggest ever vlog I've uploaded. Um, it's getting, you know, I think it's going to be nearly well over 50 minutes. It's just, I've never done anyone anything like this. Um, so please do stick around. All right, guys, I love you lots. Uh, thanks for all your support on this amazing trip. And I will see you next week for another upload.